I was a district attorney facing 84 years for a crime I did not commit because I dared to go after corrupt officials. I knew one man who would stand up to the corruption and save me from life in prison, Gary Richardson. I was elected district attorney in 1982. We had the highest felony conviction rate in the state of Texas. Then the Texas Rangers brought to town a serial killer, so they said. Uh, he was confessing to crimes all over the United States. And then most of us really believed he was a serial killer. The real source of the allegations, Fazell argued, was state officials angered by a McLennan County grand jury investigation into the confessions of self-styled mass murderer Henry Lee Lucas. That investigation ended when grand jurors concluded that Lucas could not have committed the two murders in McLennan County to which he'd confessed. You know, Henry, he was kind of a drifter, and uh, he had a girl that drifted with him named Becky. Becky came up missing. And so they uh, charged Henry with that. When Henry went to enter his plea of, of not guilty, he made the comment that he had, he'd murdered over 600 people. Uh, let's say an investigator in, in Tulsa couldn't solve a murder case in Tulsa. He would call a sheriff in Georgetown, Sheriff Boutwell, and asked him if he would talk to Henry and see if Henry had maybe been in Tulsa on about a certain date. And maybe Henry could tell him whether or not he committed the murder. Uh, we didn't know about the corruption. We didn't know they were showing him files. We didn't know they were letting him look at pictures before he confessed. And then they'd bring in the local uh, law enforcement people who would look at it and say, hey, he told us things only the killer could know. Henry was on, he was in for life anyway for murder. But he was getting carpet in his cell, color TV, had access to telephone 24-7, to all, all his favorite uh, strawberry milkshakes. And they were clearing cases left and right from, from Maine to California. They were packing them so close together, it was incredible. Henry was pleading guilty of cases, murder cases, all over the country. And he had to have the fastest jet known to man, and he still couldn't have made all of them. Then he confessed to three in our county. Two, we already had good suspects on. One was a, a murder that, there had been other similar murders with the same MO, and we had just convicted this man, and he said he was gonna confess to the others and tell us how he did it and even where one body was. But when he read in the paper that Henry Lee Lucas had confessed, he said, no, I'm not confessing. So I decided to call together a grand jury. Let's investigate this corruption. Let's see how this man is confessing to murders there's no possible way he could have committed. And when I call that grand jury together, I made some very powerful people mad. Fazell has consistently maintained that one major factor behind the investigation is his role in the probe into the validity of the confessions of self-styled mass murder Henry Lee Lucas. The findings clearly angered supporters of the Texas Rangers, among them Department of Public Safety Chief Colonel Jim Adams. It embarrassed them, and they decided to get even. But they indicted me. They led me through the streets in handcuffs. While I was sitting at my desk in my handcuffs before they took me over to the federal courthouse, I told my secretary, call Gary Richardson. Gary Richardson is the only man I know who can face this kind of corruption and maybe save me from life in prison. This is the most risky defense you can put together, but Victor's no other way to win your case.